Today we're going to explore a town that's got a fantastic cathedral with an interesting history and interesting features. A town that just helps you relax. Sartres, let's explore. Sartres is about 91 kilometers from Paris but you're looking at about an, anything from an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes by car and two hours by train. We found the train really easy. Sartre is really easy to walk around. We went to the Salmon House, which is also the tourist information center where we were able to pick up a audio guide for a walking tour of the top end of the city and that was really lovely, it was really informative and a great way to spend a morning. One really big draw card for Sartre is the cathedral. Standing high above the hill, you cannot help but see this majestic building. Started in 1145, this building was then gutted by fire in 1194 and then saw a 26 year rebuild which got it to mostly where it is today. You will notice though that the two spires at the west um, end have are different, are very different in um, size and shape and that was due to a lightning strike in 1506 which saw the north spire, the taller one, get rebuilt. Whether it's walking around to explore and take in the beautiful facade of the cathedral, or you want to find somewhere to sit and enjoy a coffee, there are lots of vantage points to take in this majestic cathedral around the outside of the building. One really beautiful discovery was the Les Saint Agin Church in the top end of town. We stumbled upon this church and it doesn't look anything amazing from the outside but you go inside and oh my goodness, the interior decorating and decor is absolutely stunning. It is was built in 1514 and it has notable stained glass from the 15th. 16th centuries and it was just amazing to wander around had such a bonus find on our wander around also there are lots of half timber houses throughout the um, whole town actually and one of the notable things is the Queen Berthy spiral staircase on the side of the house again something else that we found during the tour there are lots of cobbled streets and narrow alleyways just to enjoy and make the most of. We had a really lovely day wandering around Sartre. As I mentioned, the Sartre Cathedral is beautiful on the inside and is renowned for its famous blue stained glass windows. When we were there, the cathedral was being um, renovated and cleaned up and so the bits that had been completed were beautiful. One of the reasons that we had put Sartre on our itinerary was because of the magnificent 13th century labyrinth that is on the floor. And most Fridays, 
they remove the chairs from the nave so that you can walk the labyrinth. You might want to check their website to see if Friday is still the day. We had learned about a prayer labyrinth when we went to a church in Perth that had a replica of the Sartre labyrinth in the church grounds and it was an amazing experience. Unfortunately, due to the restoration work, I must admit, I found walking around the outside of the cathedral absolutely stunning and the buttresses and just the complexity of the building is amazing. And then you've got the little features of rusty old stuff. That's part of exploring for me is wandering around a town and finding those things that make that town unique, that are something that will put a smile on your face. One thing that really caught my eye was this lovely little shutter dog. They're used to hold shutters open. Something else that Sartre is renowned for is its lead light school and the museum that goes with it. There's lots of restorations done, lots of international restorations done there. And we enjoyed some time wandering around there, seeing as Phil is into lead light and quite a good artist. The lower town is really worth a wander around and if possible why not check into the tourist information centre and see if they are offering guided tours where they will help bring those middle age ruins back to life and explain where they, what they were, where, what role they played. Down there also is the Louis XIV beautiful place to explore with gardens and restaurants and lots of bridges over it. So take your time to just wander around down there, find a cafe to have a coffee at and just enjoy the afternoon. Something that we found was this amazing mosaic of looking up from the lower town up to the cathedral. The view is still spectacular today so make sure you remember to look back to the cathedral. Another one of the big things that we went to Sartre for was the light show that they have had every year since 2003. Now this runs, this year it was supposed to run from April to October, but obviously that didn't happen due to current world events. But definitely check with the Tourist Information Centre if you are going or just to do a Google search for Sartre light show. And see what's happening there are special events there are walking tours we did the petite train when we went and it was a good way to go if your mobility is limited but just be aware they may have changed it but when we went you could not get off the train once you got on it you did the tour which took about an hour and then they dropped you off and picked you up near the cathedral and you were not able to get off so in the lower town we could just get the photos we could get as we went past and not actually linger and really take them in but 
awesome laser show. It's 23 to 25 locations around the town that are illuminated. Very much worth your while. I thought it was a big takeaway from our visit in Sartre as um, fairly new overseas travellers and still got in my head that I have to see it all. We did a two night stay in Sartre and it gave us a whole day to explore the town at our own pace. We were able to take in everything and spend time just relaxing. We were able to find cafes to sit in. We were able to do things that were really helpful in allowing us to just absorb the city a little bit more. And it's something that we're trying to do more and more of as we travel, is we want to step back and just enjoy our cities. If you enjoyed what you saw today, why not hit the like button? Join our family by hitting the subscribe button and keep up to date with our latest uploads by hitting the little bell. Travel brilliantly, my friend, and until next time, Bye.